I'm Ramana Lam, and I'm going to be reading from my novel, Leave the World Behind. <clears throat> In the woods, you had this sense of something you couldn't see no matter how you tried. There were bugs, dun-colored toads holding still, mushrooms in fantastical shapes that seemed accidental, the sweet smell of rot, inexplicable damp. You felt small, like one of many things, and the least important, too. Maybe, maybe, something had happened to them. Maybe something was happening to them. For centuries, there was no language to describe the fact that tumors blossomed inside lungs, beautiful volunteers like flowering plants that take root in unlikely places. Not knowing what to call it did not change it. Death by drowning as your chest filled with sacks of liquid. Rose felt eyes on her, but then she pretended often that she was being watched. She saw herself at the remove of a cell phone camera. She was young and didn't understand. That was how everyone saw themselves, as the main character of a story, rather than one of literal billions our lungs slowly filling with salt water. In the woods, the light was different. The trees interfered with it. The trees were alive and felt like Tolkien's majestic creatures. The trees were watching and not impartially. The trees knew what was up. The trees talked amongst themselves. They were sensitive to the seismic reverberations of bombs far distant. Trees miles away where the ocean had begun to breach the land were dying, though it would take years for them to be reduced to albino logs. The trees had all the time the rest of us do not. The mangroves could outsmart it, pull up their roots like a Victorian lady's skirts, sip the salt from the ground, so maybe they'd be fine with the alligators and the rats and the roaches and the snakes. Maybe they'd be better off without us. Thank you.